junking pool over here in Portville. So we just took in uh, um, cab over cab. It was in a $500 dump truck. And we are at 275 a ton. It was just a cab in part of a little bed uh, frame, a headboard, old metal one. It might have been a couple pieces of uh, barbecue grill or some stuff I tore apart. Anyway, we got uh, 275 a ton, 9625, I think that is. Yeah, 25. And we took in that converter. I did a video a little bit ago, showed a picture of that converter. Anybody got an idea what that paid? $300. Now, on them converters, apparently, this car, um, I'm told they had actually like Toyota engines in them. It's a Chevy Prism or however they pronounce it. So that was a pretty small converter and I, it paid 300 bucks. So that was a good day. I was hoping for 100. Now them converters, it doesn't so much matter the size of them. It's just what kind of material is in them. And 275 a ton is pretty good. The one yard was 300, but they dropped back down to like 240. I just crammed that check in my pocket. My new, my new used magnet I've had for about a month or so. That's a little windy out here, but I'm going to get out and do a quick video. I do appreciate everybody stopping by Portville. It's almost worth getting rid of a bunch of this stuff, but... So I was going to take this in today. I asked him about these things here right when I'm thinking about it. And that's why I didn't throw that in with that load. The um, I'll remember what that is as soon as I get done with the video. Anyway, he said they, they're buying these. They don't pay too much. It's like $275 a pound. And I can't think of what the heck they call it. Like I until I get done with the video got going here. I did it. it broke some glass. It's starting to dry up pretty good around here. So I stuck that in there and got the engine to the front. I'm going to put another uh, binder or two on it just to keep it forward. It's touching the front up there. I crawled up there and looked. I don't know. You probably can't see it. Let's see if I can do this. I got my Porville shirt on. We pulled the tires off it. That one ain't one. Where's the other one? I don't think that's one. There's three of them. Oh yeah, the other one's laying on the ground. I can say that's a luminum rim there. That was off another project. Now, if I could go through the trouble of knocking these off, them are like 400 a ton. I don't know about this yard. I might give this a few whacks of the hammer just for the heck of it. But Yeah, I was going to take it in today. I kind of tore it up getting it on here, but it was kind of rough. I got to looking at it. And trying to eliminate some of these projects around here. I don't seem to be getting too, too fast. I'm trying to keep the camera up here out of the wind a little bit. So I'm going to take this in tomorrow, I guess. It's getting kind of late today. And I was coming back from uh, my, actually my brother's house. I swung by there, but uh, I was coming back from the yard and stopped at his place. And a bunch of cops down the road, a couple, three or four different miles out there with their binoculars. And they were looking for somebody. So I thought it might not be a good idea to drive past them with this load. I don't think it'd be any problem hauling it. I got some binders laying right here and I'll make sure I get a couple of them on there. I'm only going seven miles or so. Thanks for stopping by Portville. If you can find them converters, it's a gamble if you're picking up cars. Sometimes they're empty, but I'd say 70% of the time you got a pretty good chance of getting a full one. Goodbye now. Have a good day.